Good morning, everybody. Mateo Blanco here. It's four in the morning. I just woke up literally like a couple minutes ago and we are going to Jordan today. Yay. I think the flight is only like three, three and a half hours from Dubai. Gonna go see one of the seven world wonders. This is gonna be my third one. What does that mean? Seven minus three. Four more to go. Woo -woo. Very excited about that. I packed everything last night, so everything's good to go. In the last video, I mentioned that I was gonna hit Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. And I am gonna Jordan today. Obviously, that's why you clicked on this video. And I switched Saudi Arabia and Oman to two different countries that you guys are gonna be really surprised about. I've never been to these countries. And once you actually see me in these countries, it's gonna be like, this is so random. What is Mateo doing there? And why but they're really big cities they're just like super random for like me to go i've always wanted to visit these two these are already like booked and confirmed so there's that but yes let's roll guys we have a plane to catch <laughs> and board this flight you'll never see me behind the wing they gave us some lunch and I actually recorded this coffee because it was actually really good it was for my personal use but somehow it still made it on this vlog Jordan looking so pretty and then we got to the airport I hate airport hassles so I had a driver waiting for me to take me to the Ritz Carlton coming from like the city life and just like a bunch of skyscrapers and tall buildings I just love recording like nature or like different cities even if I wasn't like doing any vlogs like for instance all my other trips like I have tons of these type of videos where I'm just recording because I just love culture you've arrived at your destination baby from Amman, Jordan. I just checked into my room. I actually came to go ahead and see Petra, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. As I mentioned before, I want to see all the seven wonders of the world. And let me give you guys like a little room tour, like an actual detailed one, because I know I posted on like my Instagram and stuff, but I'll give you an actual detailed one like here on YouTube. This is the first thing you see when you walk in. Hi guys. I've kind of settled down a bit already, but I didn't bring that much stuff because it's just a weekend. Coming over here, we have a little coffee bar. We have the bathroom over here. Cute, I've already put some of my stuff out. We have a little marble bathtub. I'm probably gonna use it for a, you know, OF video, adult content. And if we come over here, I mean, this is literally just a toilet, but y'all wanted a tour, so. Here's the shower. What are those called again? Uh, rain? Fall? I don't know. Anyways, we come over here and we have a little vanity that you could actually pull out and... Voila, little vanity where you could put your last finishing touches like jewelry. And then over here, we have the actual bedroom. And then this is my view, the courtyard's over there, the pool's somewhere over there. These are the Ritz-Carlton actual residence. Um, that's the Four Seasons right there, and the Sheraton over here. I'm running low on energy, so before I record, I just ordered some mac and cheese and some white wine you guys know i love me some alcohol in general but bon appetit i'm gonna start getting ready right after this here's me being the complete rock star that i am i'm about to start getting ready Finito. 
of course all glammed up now ready to take over the day and here's me trying to take a sip but my lips are in the way Ooh, i found myself in the mirror kiss kiss okay so i just finished getting you ready i'm gonna shoot my adult content now i already situated where everything's going to be filmed and what i'm going to wear and i can't show you that part you know where to go for that probably gonna go to the pool right after and dinner go to sleep early because we have an actual tour tomorrow i'm gonna take you guys with me a little bubble bath to finish off the night So I'm right next to the Dead Sea. Obviously, I'm in Jordan, and supposedly this has Dead Sea minerals in it. Cute. And I was enjoying myself up until that night we're on Elm Street. Part of the movie came out in the bathtub. Girl. Just finished all my content. It's really five, and the work. Week is done. Time to actually enjoy myself and it's new time now. Here's the hotel pool that I was actually excited about getting in, but I didn't realize until I moved out of California that there's this thing called off seasons. So it was closed. So instead I went to dinner at this restaurant called Soleil and ordered this huge cheeseburger. Cause I may be bougie, but these taste buds are a five-year-old. My hands for reference next to this Krabby Patty crush crush so this was the next morning and we're actually heading to petra this is the part that they don't show you online the drive is actually three hours The monument was pretty too. Just kidding guys, it was actually really breathtaking in person and right after this, I actually just sat and soaked it all in. It was stunning. I know this looks like a load of junk, but I actually recorded it because it was the princess's castle, like at that time. And she had two men falling in love with her and they were both trying to propose and instead of choosing one, she actually jumped off her castle. Kind of an icon if you ask me. Next, I went to the top of the mountain on a donkey so random and i actually got off right after recording this video because i was honestly scared that the donkey was just gonna throw itself off the mountain this is the monastery it's at the very top of the mountain it takes maybe two hours to get to but with the donkey it was like 30 minutes vroom vroom i'm on my way back home for dinner You guys normally only eat like one slice but I hadn't ate all day after that little tour and I ate every single slice and I'm about to crush this one right now that's insane this is on me I'm just getting back to Dubai it's 5 in the morning I've been up for maybe 24 hours but it was all worth it the people from Jordan were so kind and I'm so glad I went and that the actual like monument I think I was getting more attention than the actual world wonder so I'm like if any LGBT is like scared to visit or go check it out if I can go to Jordan looking like this then so can you but overall it was an amazing trip they're very liberal and very hospitacious Hospitalicious. Fuck, what is it? Hospitality. I don't know, they're very hospitable. I think that's the one. Hospitable is a word, I think. Yeah. But it was amazing. The food was amazing. The culture. But, anyways, I'm like crashing right now from like that damn flight and just being awake in general for full like 24 hours. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for traveling with me. Bye, guys.